All right, guys, so it looks like Bangkok is back open for business. So as you can tell by the big giant red swing behind me, I'm in the heart of the old town, right slap bang in the middle of Ratanak House in the old town. Now this place is littered with old, decent street food options. So I want to take you on a little DIY food tour. You can do this yourself on a horrible rainy day like today in Bangkok. Um, because chances are, if you're not in Sukhumvit, you will be staying somewhere around the old town. And if you haven't planned to stay in the old town, maybe by the end of this video, you might have changed your mind. All right, Mars got to go back on now. I'm getting far too many funny looks. All right, so if you're not familiar with the old city in Bangkok, you probably would have heard of Khao San Road. That's in the old town. You probably would have heard of the Grand Palace. That's in the old town. You probably would have heard of Wat Po. That's in the old town. So if you're staying near any of those places, then this little food tour will work for you. So the reason I'm doing these videos, these little DIY food tours, because if you follow my Instagram, you'll know that I do do food tours myself. So if you wanted me to take you out, I could do that. But I want to give you some options. So no matter where you're staying in Bangkok, as I said, apparently tourism is opening back up from November to vaccinated tourists, no quarantine. So you can come here and I just want to make sure that no matter where you stay, you can get decent, authentic Thai street food. So first on our little tour of Old Bangkok. Now Old Bangkok is quite big, so I am limiting this to the giant swings. So if you're near the giant swing, I'm gonna give you three options with an added option where you can click to another video and get some other noodles. But first, we're gonna hit some Radna and Padsi Yu. All right, that's where we're heading, guys. I'm not sure we can actually sit down. Oh, we can sit down. We can sit here. What do you have? You need them? Okay. All right, we've got a queue up here. Okay, so usually they do satay here as well. I'm not sure what's going on with that. We can check the menu that's on the uh, on the wall here. Now what are we going to go for? So we've got Ladna seafood, Ladna send me send yai, mi krob. Mi krob is the uh, crispy noodles which we're going to get. Seafood, they got pork, they got pad siu. Oh, crispy fried pad siu, satay. What's this one? Quick uh, Rod or Popia Sod, I'm not sure. It's like just an open, I think Quick Rod. The little seal of approval, much better than any Michelin sign. Right, so this shop's busy, busy with the takeaways. Right, and in my very bad tie, I've just managed to order some uh, Radnar with seafood in a bowl with some crispy Send me noodles, not send me, me crop. And also, oh, look at this, awesome, look at this. fresh seafood here that's just been cooked she's just gonna put it together for me and she's gonna get some of this sloppy wet sauce oh yes Alright, so I've got my radna, which is the seafood in gravy. I've got some squid, squid tentacles, a couple of big prawns. Oh, nice. Some shiitake mushrooms, 
and some pak hana, which is Chinese kale. With that, I've got the mi grob, so it's uh, deep fried egg noodles. And then we need to do some stuff with this. So we've got our usual suspect, sugar, not gonna use. We've got some white pepper, we'll have some of that. Pick bon, dry chili, pick nam som, which is chili vinegar. All right, so I'm gonna go on with a little bit of the pepper. A nice, healthy amount. Oh, that's a pick bon. It's very, very windy. I'm standing right next to a fan some of this chili vinegar as well all right so i must admit that i've never actually tried it like this before i've had um mi grob which is the crispy egg noodles but it's usually just in with the sauce i've never had it in a still pot here this is more say more means put it in this uh, like stainless steel pot anyway i've never had it where you've had to sort of put it together yourself which is why i had a little bit of trouble uh, couple of my cup. Right, the pad CU's just come. <clears throat> so, if you're wondering why I've ordered two dishes in the same place, it's because every Radna shop sells pad CU and a very, very good version of pad CU. So, if you want real, real deal pad CU, because you can get pad CU everywhere, every single guest house. Um, if you want real deal stuff, you have to come to a Radna shop. All right, back to my Radna. The sauce is absolutely delicious. It it can put some people off because it's very, very slimy and gloopy. It's something I myself had to get my head around. It's thickened up with rice flour and it's very, very like gloopy and some people say snotty. Um, but once you get your head around that, it's very, very comforting. I have to say, I haven't been here for about three years and I didn't really eat Radna when I came here the first time. So this is kind of like a new experience for me. And I've got to say, this is one of the best I've had. Absolutely rammed full of veg and seafood. I've got squid, I've got mushrooms, I've got prawns. Mm. The squid is cooked to perfection. It is so, so soft. One of my main um, gripes with seafood in Bangkok is it can be very, very overcooked for my personal taste. Mm. Same with the prawns, that's absolutely delicious. But I think the main thing that I'm really liking is these crispy noodles with the thick sort of slimy soup. It's texturally, it's giving me something That I'm not really used to. I love the fact there's so much veg in this. I love the stewed dried mushrooms, the dried shiitake mushrooms. In fact, I love everything about that. All right, so next up we got pad cu. Everyone knows pad cu, right? Wide rice noodles with dark soy sauce, egg, and traditionally with pork. Nowadays you can get it with anything, but traditionally. It comes with marinated pork, which has been marinated in like uh, sugar and soy sauce and a bit of flour just to tenderize it. Yeah, look at that. These are proper, proper, proper. Cooked in a massive wok. I'm looking forward to these guys. But as with the red now, we're just going to pimp this a little bit. I'm going to go in with some dried chilies. You've got to have a little bit of uh, chili vinegar just because they're so salty. So you need to cut that. Be honest with you, it doesn't look as charred as I'm used to. I don't know if they've done this in like a, I know they did it in a big pot, but I don't know if they're not cooking them one by one, but we'll have a look. Oh no, that's decent. That's very good. Very well seasoned, quite sweet, heavy on the dark soy sauce. Right, the pork is very, very good. Like I said, it's been marinated just to tenderize it. Cooked up really quickly. It's absolutely melting your mouth. It almost tastes like more ping the, the pork on a stick. Mm. Very, very good. It's easy to see now why these guys 
have been in business for over 40 years. The shop is called Yod Pak 40 years. Ladna Yod Pak 40 years. So it suggests they've been open for 40 years, but I'm sure they've been open for more than 40 years because obviously when that sign went up, that's when they were called 40 years, but they've been up for ages. So I'll ask someone. So I'm going to get some squid, I'm going to get a prawn, get some of that pack and I'll get some of that gravy juice and let's go. Prawn and pork on the same spoon, that's the winner. This is a serious part of Ladna. If you haven't tried Ladna, this is your place. So I'm looking around because it's just started raining again. Rainy season is an absolute car, but Look, what else are you going to do on a rainy day in Bangkok rather than coming around and trying all these awesome street food joints? This has been a great first stop, but we've got much more to eat. So I'm not going to finish everything off because we're going to go and get some sukkah Thai noodles. We're also going to go and get some homemade Thai ice cream. But as always, I will stick links to each restaurant. So this uh, directions to this place will be in the description box below. But for now, let's get going and try our next stop. All right, that whole meal there cost me 145 baht, which is around, I reckon it's around three pound 10. It's around three pound 10, better put it back on now. Right, so, sorry, three pound 10 that's cost me, or about $4.50 in American money. Uh, that's for the seafood me crop, and also for the pad So you're talking about $4.50 for a seafood dish and a pork dish can't argue with that right on to our next stop guys even cheaper we're going to be heading down to get some sukkah thai noodles oh, there's so many shops though there's so many places um i'm getting distracted as i'm walking past and i'm seeing people like wheeling down big carts down the road and stuff um god i love bangkok So you've got to feel sorry for these tuk-tuk drivers. Like they are just sitting all day, every day with no tourists, no customers whatsoever. Oh, hurry back if you can, guys. All right, so this is another famous, famous, famous one. This is called Nei Uwan, and this does yen tofu and noodle soup. This is just a cool little street as it goes, right? So this is where we're going, Kui Tiao Sukatai. And then also in here is like an old school Boran coffee shop uh, and Thai tea shop, traditional. So you can pick whatever you want from any of these pretty much, as long as you buy something in the other one and you can sit down and uh, eat wherever you want. But we are gonna try these Sukha Thai noodles, hopefully, if uh, they let me pay by QR code. So they can't be half? Second day, mate? Day. okay. Yeah, so we can, we can. Oh, look at this. They're looking fresh. Hopefully they can uh, explain to me the difference between sukkah Thai noodles and Tom Yum noodles because I'm still not entirely sure what the difference is. So we've got more, more sap and then we've got some more deng, which is the... And soup Tom Yum. Oh, look at this, look. We've got a bit of winter melon in the soup. We've got some Tua Fak Yao. And uh, some bean sprouts with limes in. I've not seen that before. I think that's to keep it fresh. Sen alaina, sen bat me. Okay, so ta chai kui tiao sukatai. Sukatai noodles, ta chai. I think his name is ta chai. We got 50 for the small, 60 for the piece here. So we might have to go big. This is looking really, really good. And look, it's like. It's set like an old Sukkotai Thai house. And uh, if you don't know what Sukkotai is, it's the old capital city of uh, Thailand. This is why I came to Bangkok, people. I did not come to Bangkok to eat in shopping malls and food courts and sterilized restaurants. I came to eat on the streets, get to know the local people and get to know their customs. How can you genuinely know a place and get a, a real feel for its soul if you don't eat the local food? You can't. So please, I implore you, get out, start eating locally. The people love it. It's really cheap and it's absolutely delicious. I don't need to sell it anymore, do I? All right, without further ado, let's go try these noodles. So I've ordered the soup separately. Um, for that, you just say yek, like soup yek, like put it on the side or separate. And then we've got those dry Tom Yum noodles with bat mi egg noodles. So what we've we got, minced pork, some crispy garlic, 
some more dang. Oh, looking stupendous. Peanuts, chili. Oh. All right, not their fault at all, but they didn't give it to me spicy because they didn't ask for it spicy. So, um, ped may me. No spice. So, yeah, I'm gonna stick some roasted chili flakes in myself. All right, so I've mixed that up. I'm looking forward to these guys. I've been meaning to come down here for ages, and um, thanks to you, I've uh, I've now got an excuse to come down and try these places that have been on my list because like, I put off going to places and I put it off and I put it off and I put it off. Uh, but now, as I said earlier, with tourism opening back up in November, I want to give you guys somewhere to eat decent local street food wherever you're staying in Bangkok. So if you're staying near the, the, near the, near the giant swing, I've got you covered, all right? We've had one good stop. Let's hopefully make this a second good stop, okay? All right, so let's look through this. All right, so I've got some more dang, which is the crispy red pork. Oh, right, so I've got some more dang, which is the red pork. I've got more sat. I've got these green beans. Uh, mm. Some bean sprouts some minced pork and then at the bottom of the bowl we've got all this lovely peanut and chili a little bit of garlic oil and loads and loads of roasted peanuts all right just gonna try and get a bit of everything on the on the chopstick let's go They're very, very sour, very, very salty, very, very spicy. Perfect for me, as you know, but um, I didn't say in my wan, uh, which means not sweet. So I've got this kind of sweet and any like added sugar in something, especially when it's like a finished dish, for me it just becomes slightly too sweet. But this isn't over the top sweet and that is complete user error. So apart from asking for it not sweet, these are absolutely perfect for me. Well seasoned, spicy, sour. Love the green beans. I love everything about it. I love the whole setup. I love the way it's like in this little sort of triangle on a crossroads, and you've got like the coffee shop, you've got the night all in there, so you can eat kind of wherever you want. It's all nice and local. The governor's really nice. Um, he's run me through a couple of things. I've, I've just sat there, they let me film. Um, they've all, like all street food places, like the last place we went to, they've all got their own separate jobs. So he's cooking the noodles, then he throws them into a bowl. Um, the lady next to him, she's mixing up that spicy peanut, um, chili, lime juice, um, and then the next one's sorting out the meat, and then they all put the bowl together, and the kid at the end serves it up. So, mmm. Proper, 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 proper real deal street food. All right, now that one was awesome. That one was good. That was very good. I was surprised at how much I enjoyed that because I don't usually like the added sugar, but it wasn't too overpowering. And it was just a great little, um, it was just a great little setup. Plus throwing those green beans. I know that sounds like a minor detail, but because I eat noodle soup so much, when I get something I'm not used to, I enjoy it like with something that's not in the noodles every day and you don't get Thai noodles everywhere. They are just Tom Yum noodles with green beans in as far as I can tell as I keep saying but very very good dish nevertheless. What would you guys like now after two really salty deals, three really salty dishes? I think you might like something sweet. Now I personally don't have a sweet tooth but I can for you squeeze in some ice cream okay so we're going to go to a like I want to say 70 year old shop, I could have got that wrong, but I want to say 70 year old homemade, handmade ice cream shop in the heart of old Bangkok. Let's go. Check this guy out, painting. That's cool. All right, so the Rotana Kalsing cultural route. Okay, so this has got everything you need and these are everywhere. What Bawan, there's a good uh, Carl Tom shop there. But yeah, as you can see on this map, it's got all like, like City Hall, Golden Mount. It's got all the temples and it's got all like the, um, the Grand Palace, Emerald Buddha. 
but it's got loads of the old universities, it's got loads of the government buildings. It's, it's a really, really good place to stay. Like if you've never been to Bangkok before, I would say the old town is the place to stay because I love where I live in Tombury, but if you don't speak Thai, it's getting better now. I say better, I don't think they should have to speak English, but I mean, for tourist purposes, um, it's getting easier for tourists where I am now, but still the old town retains a lot of charm. You can get really, really good food. It's got that real Thai experience, but, um, they can still speak English. There's a lot of English written menus and stuff, so you can get by a little bit easier here. Um, I, I don't like Sukhumvit. Um, I don't know why anyone would stay there. Uh, if it's your like, if you're coming to Thailand, you want a Thai experience. Going to Sukhumvit, you could be in any city in the world. Come to Old Bangkok or Tombury, and you'll know that you're in a completely, completely different place. Okay, so there's two reasons why you wouldn't want to miss this part of the video. One is if you're an ice cream fan and you want to come and obviously get an ice cream. The second reason would be that you do not want to miss me trying to pronounce black sesame in Thai. Well, it looks like they're having a little, uh, looks like they're having a little vaccination drive. Are they? Or is everyone just having lunch? No, 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 they're definitely having the old vaccine. Okay. Okay, and this is Natapon ice cream. All right, look, so they've got a little sign as well. So I knew I wasn't going mad, look. Over 70 years made, the, made from coconut. Okay, well selected ingredients and neat process make the ice cream popular for both Thais and foreigners. Falang, um, yes, amazing. Right, opening times nine till five with delivery every day. That's not true. There is a day when it does close and I will say that. Sadikab, sadikab. All right, so we're gonna go in Natapon. I must have read this before tonight was 70 years old, mustn't I? All right, so let's give this a go and see if I can order this black sesame. Nah, dumb. Right, wait for it, wait for it. Oh, nah, dumb. Nah, dumb. Okay, I did get it right. Black sesame. Black sesame, yeah. But they do speak English here. What Angit Gang Ma? Yeah, they do speak English here. But she's getting coconut with peanuts. So I'm going to get a fresh coconut as well because the fresh coconut is really good. So I They've got all of the... Now everyone's been here, look. look. Very famous. Alright, I just want to show you the ice cream against uh, this nice wooden table because I was going to sit here, but the table wasn't as nice, so I'll move there in a sec. But either way, all right, so we've got coconut ice cream, it's more like it's sorbet kind of, it's like pure uh, coconut milk, they don't add anything else in, just sugar and coconut milk. So when they say ice cream, it is more of what we would consider to be a sorbet, but this one, but this one is my favorite, so it's like a black ground sesame sorbet it's almost like shaved ice it's like ground sesame shaved ice they do have a creamier uh coconut one with young coconut they also do matcha green tea all sorts all right so i'll give these a try i mean for me it is very very, it's very icy, but I like that. I like that. Very, very refreshing. It's like. Uh, it's like. Uh, it's like. Top, Madam, Madam, Top Mark, Top Mark, All right, so uh, where was I? I'm not sure how much of that I'm going to keep in. I just had an interesting conversation with a lovely um, couple, an ex general and his wife, 75 years old. They just paid for my ice cream um, and I just ate both ice creams. So I, I don't know how far I got into the video before we started talking, 
but um, that's just how nice people are around here because they speak English uh, they just wanted to have a conversation with me and uh, their mum used to have or her mum used to have a her mum or her daughter used to have a flat in Putney in South London so that's why we were talking um, really really lovely people like you wouldn't get that in England someone wouldn't just pay for your lunch um, just because you've had a conversation with them but anyway um, yeah amazing ice cream guys for me I like this sorbet it's like very refreshing when you've been walking around in the heat all day like today's not too bad because it's about to rain again but it has been hot 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 so perfect place to finish off your little food tour I mean there's so many more places I could send you make sure you look in the link uh, in the description below because there's a place called Hainanese Noodles which you have to go if you're doing this little tour I just couldn't fit any more noodles in today but I forgot to say as well the last meal cost me 50 baht so £1.10 or $1.50 for the noodles um, and then this would have cost me I can't read the tie they're over 30 or 40 baht so I think together this would have been 70 baht which is like £1.50 or two dollars ten in American money so all together I've spent what did I spend in the first place 145 195 265 baht and I didn't even spend half of that they bought me one but this would have cost me 265 baht for three four dishes in fact so I got two in the first place so four dishes for 265 baht which is about five pounds 70 something like that or seven about eight dollars in us money i'll stick it all up over the top but guys i hope you enjoyed this food tour everything is going to be linked in the description box you're going to have the google links with the opening times directions what i ate prices all that good stuff how you can get here i suggest if you're on public transport to come from sam yod mrt station it's like a 10 minute walk from there i'll stick a few other places in the descriptions where you can walk from that train station uh, and stop on the way yeah, I hope you're enjoying these little DIY food tours I'm putting together. Um, I just, like I said, I just want to show you guys some more authentic, real street food. Now, I'm putting these videos up every day now, or every other day, at least three or four times a week. So I'm doing them off my phone. So the quality is going to suffer a little bit. I hope you guys haven't noticed and don't mind too much. But bear with me. Um, I just need to get as many of these out as possible before November and the tourists arrive, which is hope for you guys. But until then, thank you very much for your support. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you enjoyed the videos. And I will see you in the next one.